good morning class 9 uh, the next next topic of uh, communication skills is writing skills part of speech now when we talk or write in english uh, we use sentences to express ourselves sentences are important because if we do not clearly write sentences then the meaning of the same cannot be understood clearly a sentence is a group of words that communicates a complete thought <clears throat> a group of words which does not make complete sense is known as a phrase a sentence always begins with a capital letter and it always ends with a question mark full stop or exclamation marks some examples uh, are as follows did you work on your project this sentence ends with question mark i completed it yesterday this sentence ends with full stop that is good this sentence ends with exclamation marks where we can use capital letters we know that all sentences begin with the capital letters do you know at what other points in a sentence we should use capital letters it is easy to know what to capitalize if you remember the word mints m i n t s mints is a set of simple rules that help you capitalize words correctly each letter in the word mints refers to one capitalization rule now first letter is m now see what it shows it shows the months we should capitalize the first letter in all the names of the months for example i will go to college in june the first letter of june will be capital next we have i it shows the letter and we should capitalize the letter i when it is used to begin a word for example i play tennis with him every day now the first letter is i here so i would i will be capital now next is n n shows names we should capitalize the first letter in the names of the people places and days for example this tuesday <clears throat> vidya will be in rajasthan to so vidya the letter i mean uh, the first letter of vidya is v so v will v will be capital and the first letter of rajasthan is r so i should also be capital now next is t t shows titles we should capitalize the first letter in the titles used before people's name for example dr shah and mr patel work together first letter of dr d should be capital likewise first letter of mr m should be capital last is s as shows starting letter of sentences we should capitalize the first letter in every sentence for example the cat ran out of the house now the starting letter of the, uh, the sentence here is uh, the first word is the and the first letter is t so t should be capital now next topic is punctuation it is a set of marks such as the full stop and the comma which help us separate parts of a sentence and explain its meaning like upper case letters punctuation is also a very important part of sentences and has some rules 
some common punctuation marks. Uh, we'll be reading about some of the uh, common punctuation marks. First is uh, first is full stop. <clears throat> it shows the end of a sentence. Also used to show short of short form of long words. For example, doctor can be shortened to uh, dr doctor when we use it as a title before a name. Then we have comma. Sometimes we use a comma to indicate a pause in the sentence. We can also use a comma to separate items when we are listing out more than two items in a row. Then we have question mark. We use a question mark at the end of a question. All the questions are end with question mark. The next we have exclamation mark. We use an exclamation mark at the end of a word or a sentence to indicate a strong feeling such as surprise, shock or anger. Next is apostrophe. We use an apostrophe followed by an S to show that something belongs to someone. We also use an apostrophe to indicate the shortened form of some words. In informal speech. Next, we will read about the basic parts of the speech. <clears throat> there are eight basic parts of speech in the English language. <clears throat> These are noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. The part of speech indicates how the word functions in meaning as well as grammatically within the sentence. Now we will read about the different parts of the speech. First is noun. Now let us read what they do. Nouns are words that refer to a person, place, thing or idea. These are naming words. For example, Rima wrote a letter. Both Rima and letter are nouns. Next we have pronouns. <clears throat> a pronoun is a word used in place of a noun. Rima wrote a letter. She is tired. She is used in place of the noun Rima. It is a pronoun in this sentence. Next we have adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe other words. Rima wrote a long letter. Long is an adjective that describes the noun letter. Next we have verbs. Verbs are words that show action. Rima wrote a letter. Wrote is the verb. It tells what action Rima did. Then we have adverbs. Adverbs are the words that add meaning to verbs, adjectives or other adverbs. They answer the questions how, how often, when and where. Rima quickly wrote a letter. Quickly is an adverb. It tells how Rima did the action. That's all for today. Thank you very much.